Hello, hello, I forgot to start streaming. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Here I've been for like half an hour, just playing through this dungeon, chatting, chatting away. And the, and the, yeah, no, no stream. Uh, anyway, Legend of Zelda, we're here, level 7, um, but yeah, I was saying that this was probably going to be, at the, the start, that this was probably going to be a short stream, because I'm planning on going to bed uh, a little bit early tonight, because I need to be up for work tomorrow. Uh, it looks like this is going to be a very short stream for you all. It's going to be a normal, a normal length stream for me, but you know, you didn't get to experience much of the stream. So yeah, uh, just as a quick recap, we've explored a pretty decent chunk of this here dungeon. We haven't really done anything else outside of it, because at this point we haven't... There's not really a whole lot else for us to do outside of these various dungeons. But yeah, I've... <laughs> I am absolutely taken aback at the... Me just not realizing that I wasn't streaming. Oh, tip of the nose. That probably refers to the northeasternmost part of the dungeon. But yes, I've done I've done a lot of foolish things in my time as a streamer, but I've never done something so foolish as to uh, forget to stream. But yeah, anyway, so we ended up using a lot of a lot of bombs in probably unwise places, and. We ended up using a lot of bombs in unwise places, and now we're out of them. But we did also find an old man who's willing to sell us uh, the capacity for more bombs, which I think should refresh our number of bombs, if I remember correctly. But maybe that's just wishful thinking. Well, we just got some more bombs, so it's not a huge issue. But yeah, I was remarking that the, the enemies in this dungeon are relatively easy compared to those in other dungeons. Or, well, more specifically, those in the dungeon immediately prior to this one. Yes, we did get all of our bombs back. Nice. But yeah, the enemies in this dungeon are significantly easier than the enemies in the dungeon immediately prior. But the dungeon itself seems to be much bigger. There's generally more enemies per room. So I'm thinking this this the challenge here is more sort of a test of endurance. Your ability to deal with large numbers of enemies of various kinds. Let's see, we can't... we haven't gone... Okay, there's a passage. And there's a passage. Or there's not a passage, rather. But yes. Very, very silly this one. This has been. Hmm. I kind of want to... <laughs> At this point, I kind of want to just, like... I don't know, maybe we'll do a bonus stream on Saturday or something to make up for the, the difference here. Yes, yeah, so that northern wall is not... Yeah, cannot be damaged. I don't imagine this will work if the... yeah. I don't think these rooms generally have... well, actually, hold on. Hmm, now I need to put my, my thinking cap on. Because, yeah, we did... hmm, hold on. Yeah, now I need to think about how are we going to get to the rest of this dungeon. Hmm. Hmm. Because yes, we've had little success in... some might say no success in getting to the, the rest of the dungeon from here. 
I don't know that I necessarily stopped be Man, I talk I talk about the things that I do as though I'm not the one doing them. But yeah. I remember I think no, it wasn't here that we ran out of bombs, I don't think, was it? Man, here I am talking about how we ran out of bombs. You weren't even here, and I'm trying to blame you for everything. But yes. So, as of this point, I don't know how to get to the rest of the dungeon. Oh. Well, we found how to get to the rest of the dungeon, presumably. Yes, there's also a the sound of a monster around here. Some variety of monster. Thank you, Fairy, for your oh well. I appreciate your assistance. I I apologize for having swatted it immediately. Alright, so this will lead us to a candle upgrade, which is nice, I suppose. Well, it's a damage option, I suppose. So we've been north already. We've been to the room directly north of us. And we weren't able to get south from there. Okay. Hmm. But yeah. Man, the, the... I am all sorts of, uh... All sorts of out of sorts now. Having, having, having come to the terrible realization that I was not a streamer tonight for a significant portion of this stream. Man, there's so many Moldorms in this dungeon. I mentioned earlier that I didn't... I don't recall seeing any Moldorms before this dungeon. We've already fought like three of them here. Well, three pairs of them, I should say. Hmm. I guess we probably don't need to bomb to the west because we've been there. Running low on keys for what feels like the first time in basically forever. I got stuck on one of these fellows for a good long while before I remember that we could play the flute to uh, defeat them. Or rather, to make them vulnerable. Yeah, lot of, lots of bosses in this dungeon. All around. Alright. Alright, alright. Taking a lot more damage than I need to here. Case in point. <laughs> Alright. So, bombs and health. And nose, perhaps. Nose. There we go. There we go, even. Hmm. So there's a secret here, apparently, according to an old man living in this dungeon. Probably more likely than pushing a block out, it would be pushing a block in that would be the solution here. The flute might also be useful. Oh dear. Hmm, is this our first experience with uh, wall masters, I wonder? I guess probably we have to defeat them. That's probably the solution, actually. Any more? Oh, nope. <laughs> Alright, didn't mean to do that. But yeah, another thing that we discovered, I discovered, during my, my time alone, is that the... 
the, this particular set of Joy-Cons I'm using, I'm using a different one than I was using prior. There we go. This particular set of Joy-Cons that I'm using, the... The, at least the left one, I suppose, because I'm using a pair. But yeah, the left one has what seems to be button drift, almost. Like, I, I press on the, the button, I press on the directional pad, and sometimes it just, uh... I go a little bit further, or I continue going after I let go of it. Hmm. Alright, so this, presumably, is then the boss. Is this? Hold on. What dragon is this? This isn't Aquamantis, is it? I don't remember. Hmm. Which one's the... Well, I guess it doesn't matter who it is anymore. <laughs> whatever this dragon is, whatever this dragon's name is, the dragon is no more. Hmm. And I'm just comparing the two dungeons. I keep forgetting that the two maps are visible on the on this screen at the same time. Hmm. But yeah, it seems filled in. Yeah, I suppose I was expecting... I was expecting another upgrade in here, or a different upgrade at least. When the old man told me that in the in the nose there was a secret, I had assumed that it was like you know a a special secret, something that I wouldn't be able to access. Uh, you know, something that I that was unnecessary but helpful. Sit. Hmm, I just realized the last time I sipped, I think I forgot to say sip, so... Back, uh, before, uh, I was streaming. <laughs> so clearly it's a good thing that I wasn't streaming, because I wouldn't want to disappoint you all like that. With my sipless sips. But yeah. So, we're now in a bit of a situation, huh? Because we've got two upgrades. Two upgrades to get, at least. We need the magic book, and we need... Well, no, we need the magic book, we need the ring. And what's the other one? The magic key. We've got three upgrades left to get. Possibly another bomb upgrade also. We just got one in this dungeon. But, um... We need potentially... Three upgrades. Maybe more. And we only have, like, two dungeons in left to do so. Oh, and the silver arrows, also. So that... Did I already mention the silver arrows? Hold on. Okay, so magic book. Silver arrows. Magic key. That's three. Yeah. And... An indeterminate number of bomb upgrades. So... Three... At least three. Wait, hold on. Ring, arrow, book. Ring, arrow, book. Ring, arrow, book. Key. Four. Four or five, maybe. I'm very bad at counting. <laughs> but yes. Ring, arrow, book. Key. Hmm. This is very curious indeed. Well, I guess we might as well just make our way to the, the eighth dungeon. So, you know, maybe we'll find one of those upgrades there. I guess now that we have the the new the new cool candle, we can just burn things continuously and not have to spend as much time on it. We are in a forest, it would seem. So I guess this is a uh, this is the the thrilling content that you're going to get to experience on this half late stream. Funny thing is, I I did start the stream late. I was late to the stream today. 
Well, I guess, you know, announced lateness is one thing, but, uh, I started the stream later than I, oh, this is something. Is this something we're interested in? Is this one of the upgrades that I was looking for? No. <laughs> no, it's not. Hmm. Well, there's probably not another secret on this map, so... I was so hopeful there for a second. I'm glad that these trees are broadly fireproof and we're not causing some sort of terrible ecological tragedy here. Only the significant trees are flammable. Yeah, you can only have so many flames on screen at once though, it seems like. <laughs> all right, all right. This checks out. Hmm. This isn't a dungeon that we are terribly concerned about at this point, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, it seems that the rest of the stream is probably going to be this. <laughs> well, <laughs> I guess I'll, I'll talk a little bit about uh, what we talked about before, given the circumstances. So, today, we're streaming The Legend of Zelda, if you hadn't been noticed yet. Uh... <laughs> Uh, really takes the wind out of your sails, huh? I'm not terribly upset, but I am a little bit embarrassed. But yeah, so... Ah, right, hold on. Can we leave this way? Yes, cool. Because I'm assuming there's probably not any major secrets in the Forest of Maze. Oops. Uh, just in the wrong position. But yes, so, Legend of Zelda tonight. Uh, next week, my schedule, I'm not 100% sure of just yet. We should be, you know, doing some more uh, Tales of Arise on two, er, Wednesday. We should be doing more The Legend of Zelda on Thursday. And, uh, or not Thursday, sorry. We should be doing more uh, Valhalla with Chefs on Thursday. We should be doing more The Legend of Zelda on Friday. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what we're doing on... I think... Hmm. Having, having a map makes, uh, makes giving me an excellent opportunity to mark down what, what areas I have tried burning and what ha areas I haven't. So, let me do that, actually. So... I think, okay, I don't remember all the places that I've been so far. So I'm going to start marking this text in red if I've been here. Let's see, where am I right now? Uh, okay, I'm... I understand that you can't, uh... You can't actually see what uh, I'm doing here, so I appreciate your patience. But yeah, anyway, so... I don't know precisely when I will be streaming on Tuesday because the I'm not 100% sure what my work schedule for Tuesday is going to be. I originally I was going to start working earlier on Tuesdays. I uh, I went to my boss and I said that I would prefer not to because you know that's the generally the collab day, and moreover it's a day where I start streaming earlier than most other days and stream longer. But. Uh, so yeah, so I went to my boss, I asked if I could potentially, you know, not work Tuesdays or work mornings on Tuesday instead of working the closing shift on Tuesday. And so, you know, said that they were going to see what they could do, basically. 
to get me to accommodate my my schedule or my preferences for the schedule. Let's see, this is we burned here before, I think, yeah. But yes, so I'm not 100% sure if that will go through, so to speak. Is this this isn't the place where the uh, the old man had us pay for the door? Is that no? Yeah, down here. But yes, so my boss will uh, try to try to accommodate me. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if that's going to necessarily work. They said they'd have the schedule uh, ready today, but I didn't. I didn't ask for it or look for it, so uh, that's on me, I suppose. But yes, so I don't know precisely what the story is with Tuesday. And yes, so that should be clear, basically. Um, so yeah, Tuesday. Who knows? But Wednesday should be streaming at 7.30, which is what I thought I'd be streaming at this today. But uh, I ended up delaying the stream because my... Uh, like I, like I said, way back when, in the time before recorded history, the, well yeah, the, I've streamed with a different setup basically every single day this week, and so I wanted to, before I started this time, instead of just having a really weird sort of, uh, not quite knowing, uh, you know, instead of being sort of panicked and setting up everything as as quickly as possible like right before the stream I decided to to delay a little bit so I could have more time to get things ready and uh, it worked pretty well I didn't have to rush I was nice and calm and relaxed going into the start of the stream today and uh, maybe a little bit too relaxed <laughs> because I forgot to you know start the stream today so let's see. So I guess I'll mark areas... I'll just use red to mark areas that, like, don't need to be burned, I suppose. Which will include areas without uh, trees. So yes. So did I... Yeah, I started on times, so okay. So, let's see. Tuesday, not quite sure yet. I may be streaming at 8, I might be streaming at 6. Uh, no in-between, probably. But yes. So that is Tuesday. Then Wednesday, I should be streaming at 7.30. I don't see any reason to believe that I won't be. And we will you know, mark this as an area that I've checked also, before I forget. But yes. So. Where was I? Oh yes, Wednesday. <laughs> okay. So. Ah! Wizrobes hardly know her. Yeah, Wizrobes are a thing of the past, hopefully. But yes, thanks for dropping by, all. <laughs> Had quite the, quite the start of the stream. Uh, it's a real shame that no one will ever see it, because I forgot to start streaming for like, uh, it would have been about, yeah, about 30 minutes or so. I went about 30 minutes into the stream before realizing that I wasn't streaming. So yeah, so I was actually just going over the schedule again, because uh, <laughs> that was part of the stream that didn't happen. But yeah, anyway, so we got halfway through a dungeon before I, before I realized too. So yeah, I mentioned earlier, um, but I'll mention it again, uh, I think I might, if I have some extra time this Saturday might do a bonus stream to to make up for my egregious error here. Maybe I'll just do like maybe I'll just do like the first half of that dungeon and we'll stitch it to the front of this stream just to make everything really confusing <laughs> when I upload the vods. That could be fun. But anyway, <laughs> so I was talking about the schedule. So I don't know what my work schedule is going to look like on Tuesday, so I can't say for certain when I'll be streaming on Tuesday. On Wednesday, I do know what my work schedule looks like, and I have reason to believe that I will be streaming at 7.30pm Central Time, 
playing Tales of Arise. On Thursday, I also know what my work schedule is going to be. <laughs> if only you could wear a different outfit on your character so it's an obvious jump cut. I could, I guess I could put like a little hat on my model in uh, VTube, or yeah, in the thing. VTube Studio, there we go. I could put a little hat on myself or something like that. But yes. So, where was I? Yes. Thursday, I know when I'm going to be working, so I have reason to believe that I'll be streaming at 8 o'clock, roughly. Uh, more Valhalla with chefs. And then on Friday, I should be, you know, again, streaming at the sort of usual time, 7.30pm Central Time, with some more of The Legend of Zelda. This time, hopefully, we'll actually, you know, stream it when we stream it. <laughs> but yes. So, now that we've got sort of the before the gameplay business out of the way, uh, I guess we're just going to get back to more gameplay. Where we are now that we have the ability to use the candle multiple times. And, oh, gotta remember, mark off areas that we've checked. Whoops, there we go. I had my controls, my D pad drift there again. But yes. Hmm. What was I saying? Something. Mark those areas off as checked. That area doesn't have trees, so I know that we can check that off as well. Hmm. Yes, I have completely forgotten what I was trying to say. Oh yeah. Ah, hello Raven Ghost. Good to see you. But yes. This is a this is a stream with a bit of strange energy tonight. How are we doing? Yeah. It is, like I like I was saying, this is a a bit of a strange stream tonight, because uh, I did forget to stream for about half an hour of today's stream. Oh, Medicine Cellar, nice. But yes, so we're doing good. We're doing good. Uh, otherwise, we beat another another dungeon after only, you know, it took us a, less than an hour to beat that dungeon, really. So that's pretty, pretty good in my book. Uh, uh, uh. All right, so at this point, we are just sort of going around the overworld now that we have the red candle and we can burn everything. Uh, just checking what needs to be burned to potentially allow us access to any, any additional upgrades. And I'm going along and I'm updating the spreadsheet as I go. I almost sneeze there. Hold on. <laughs> Hmm. Alright, there we go. <coughs> Good thing I was able to suppress that sneeze, because I did not, uh, did not press the mute button properly. At least I don't think I did. Okay, yeah, we did. We didn't. But yes, so anyway, red candle, burning things, because we want to see if we can get any upgrades that, uh, we've missed. Because we've got, like, four or so... Hmm. Four or so upgrades that we <laughs> still need to get before uh, we're complete. I'm not necessarily uh, aiming for a 100% run of this game, but you know, I want to be thorough, as thorough as is reasonably possible. That's just the, the way I like to play things. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But yeah, I'm definitely, I'm especially curious about the magic book and the, I think there's another ring upgrade. I'm pretty sure there's another ring upgrade. I guess I, I don't know for certain. I've got the manual, so I could like, you know, read it and know that for, for certain. Let's see. 
But yeah, if you're also old watching this, remember playing on NES and needing my older brother to help with parts. So yeah. Yeah, NES was definitely... Well, I was gonna say NES was before my time. I guess every console produced in the century was before my time, technically, but you know. And, you know, other centuries too, but uh... Because yeah, I guess the NES wasn't produced in this century now that I think about it. But anyway, the the first uh, of what you of uh, consoles that you have experienced thus far in linear time, you being the collective of humanity uh, that I played, was the Game Boy Advance. That was my earliest uh, console, or my first console. I've since acquired consoles that came out earlier than that one. Hmm. I think... Is my map wrong? I think my map's wrong. Or else I'm... Mm, actually, probably I'm just... Uh, I'm probably just, like, in the wrong position on my map. Yeah, because this is... Hmm. Hold on. Wait, hold on. Oh! Yeah, I'm on the wrong... I'm on the wrong part of the map. Okay. Yeah, so I was, <laughs> I was marking off, I was marking off squares on the map that are completely, completely wrong. Oh dear. Hmm. Huh. All right. So yes. Okay. No wonder. No wonder it wasn't mar <laughs> It wasn't. It wasn't matching up. My goodness. Uh. Let's see. Alright, so I know where I am now, actually. So, given that information, I can use that to sort of reverse engineer where I have been. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is a, this has been a, a uniquely challenging stream tonight. But honestly, after the whiz robes, any any challenge is uh, fine by me. I'm just glad to be rid of them. Hmm. I'm getting paranoid about whether the uh, how much of the flame has to overlap with a tree for it to burn. I'm assuming that the trees on the very edge of the screen probably aren't any... don't hold any secrets. <laughs> Alright, and just to double check, this is... I am in the place that I think I am. Because this should take us out to the sea. Yes, it is. Okay, we're good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're back. We're back to, uh... Back to where I ought to be. Okay. I know where I am now. Okay, so this is a place... Okay, we've already gotten a secret here, so I'm assuming that they're not going to hide another secret under another tree here. But yeah, first... My first uh, console was the Game Boy Advance. But yeah, I definitely... I went through a lot of Game Boy Advances in my time. I do not own any anymore, because I kept losing them. But yeah, I think I, I lost like two or three Game Boy Advances, and then more recently I lost Game Boy Advance SP a few years, well, not a few years ago, it was a, long, a pretty, pretty n large number of years ago, relatively speaking. It was not a few, but uh, I don't remember precisely how many years ago it was that I, I also lost my Game Boy Advance SP. And so this place is checked, I think. Yeah, okay, we should be good here. And I guess, yeah, then my first home console, I suppose, would have been the Nintendo 64.
interesting development going from the any or the Game Boy Advance to the N64, considering that the N64 came out before the the uh, Game Boy Advance. Uh, yeah, then I think yeah, it was the the GameCube was the next one that I got. Well, probably there were some some of those Game Boy advances that I that I mentioned were interspersed there at various points. I don't remember precisely when I got which, but uh, you know, they were they they were in the mix somewhere. All right, nothing here. Oops. But yeah, so then... Yeah, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo 64, uh, Game Boy, GameCube. Yeah, one game for Game Boy Advance, I'd use my brother's Game Boy Advance to play it. Fair enough, fair enough. But yes, I do have a number of siblings, but I've, I've haven't lived with pretty much any of them throughout my entire life, so I've never I've never had the experience of sharing a console with a sibling. I don't know if any of my siblings play video games. I don't. I don't know. I don't. Uh, I haven't really s spoken to most of them, or uh, not uh, not very much. A lot of them are significantly older than me. You see, yeah, it's a pain. I I can imagine. Yeah, six siblings, four of them are gamers. Fair enough, fair enough. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I don't even know how many siblings I have. That's how that's how little I uh, interact with most of them. Like uh, for for years, I only knew that I had uh, a sister. For like I think the first uh, probably I don't know almost. For the first de decade and change of my life, I only knew that I had one sibling. Uh, but I then learned that I had a, a number of other siblings. Sort of, uh... Who were, you know, all of them were all were adults and had already moved out, and uh, thus I never had any reason to, to contact them, or be in contact with them, basically. Yes, I was I was quite close with my uh, cousins and all that, that though, because uh, most of my aunts and uncles lived pretty close by. Whereas my my siblings all, I don't, other than my other than my sister, I don't know I don't know where any of them uh, lived, relative to my location, basically. Yeah, this feels this feels weird. This feels like a, a weird uh, family dynamic that I have <laughs> now that I reflect on it. But you know what? It is what it is. Hmm. All right, that's another one off the list. So yeah, I think. I don't know, we'll do a couple more screens. Alright, this screen is clear. We'll do some of the, the screens that I was mistakenly checking off, that I hadn't actually been to yet, and check those. And then we will wrap things up. Alright, nothing to burn here, so this is good. Alright, so I think for now we'll wrap things up. And we'll we'll get back to we'll get back to this uh, later. I think probably I will do some more tree burning off of off stream. But yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't know what to uh, expect. I guess. But yeah. So just as a reminder for myself, more so than anything really, and I'm gonna take a note of this so I don't forget. We need the. We need a ring upgrade, I think. We need the red ring. We need the silver arrows. We need the magic book. 
and we need the magic key. Magic book, magic key, I wrote them. I abbreviated both the magic book and the magic key as magic, simply. Let's head over to the studio. But yes, so. Ring, silver arrows, book, key. We know that, and there may also be bomb upgrades. We just picked one up, and 16 seems like an odd, not round number to leave things off on. So there's a, I feel like there's a decent chance, perhaps not a guarantee, but a decent chance that there will be more bomb upgrades to find, at least one to put us at a, at a, well, I was going to say, put us at a round number, but I guess at this point, you know, there's a decent chance that they would leave us just at a multiple of eight because, you know, computers of this era were tended much more to, or not multiple of eight, multiple of two, a multiple of two, <coughs> a power of two even is the word I'm looking for. But yeah, since that was more of a, not necessarily a concern, but you know, they, I guess, yeah, it would, have, it would require, honestly, it would be weirder to go up to 20 instead of going up to 16, actually, now that I think about it, because you need, like, more bits, I think, to, yeah, you need more bits to count up to 20, and at that point, you might as well just count up to, like, uh, I guess, yeah, the next would be 32, right? Well, no, well, I mean, that would be the next power of 2 up from 16, but... Yeah, it would not be the next, it would not be the next highest number you could count if you added just another bit. Because yeah, like 16 is, let's see, I don't know how many bits it is offhand, but <laughs> anyway, anyway, actually, no, would it, wouldn't it be, or no, it'd be 31, right? Hold on. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to wrap things up tonight. I'm not going to worry about binary because I don't remember it all that clearly. So, uh, let's see. Well, at this point I would normally go over the schedule again, but <laughs> I went over the schedule like 20 minutes ago. Maybe not even that. 15, 20 minutes ago. So. Um, where was I? But yeah, so no schedule right now, because I don't, <laughs> it's, uh, it happened so recently that I don't feel the need to go over it. Um, but yeah, it feels weird to end off without, not, without the schedule, so maybe I'll just go over the schedule anyway. So, Tuesday. I don't know what my work schedule is going to be Tuesday, so I cannot say definitively what we will be, when we will be doing things, and I don't know necessarily what we will be doing either, because, uh... Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if we're continuing Terraria uh, right now. But yeah, Cliff Note schedule. <laughs> nah, it it feels too weird to leave without the schedule. So I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to schedule. I'm gonna have to do the schedule. Let's see. So, where was I? Yeah. So Tuesday. That's Tuesday. Er. Oh wait. Cliff Cliff Note schedule. Gotcha. I. I I saw a Cliff Note and I misinterpreted that as as cliffhanger. Yes. Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. I don't have work particularly late on Wednesday, so we should be streaming at 7.30, the usual time, or I guess the normal. It's... We stream, in theory, as often at, as, at 7.30 as we do at other times throughout the week, so maybe it's not the usual time. But what I consider to be the normal time, 7.30 p.m. Central Time, we will be continuing Tales of Arise on Wednesday. Thursday, I do work late, so I probably won't be starting the stream until 8, possibly 8.30, if uh, things go really late. We might want to count on 8.30, actually, but, you know, sometime around there. We'll be playing Valhalla with Sheppy Sheps, continuing that. Then on Friday, at 7.30 p.m. Central Time, hopefully, we will be doing more of The Legend of Zelda. And so that, I think, is good for right now. Yeah, I think that's all that needs to be said. 
but yeah. Like I, yeah. So again, my schedule, my work schedule is a little bit different this month. Uh, it's going to be different next month also, and possibly into September. Probably not into September, but possibly into September. And so, you know, we're just going to have to go with the flow, so to speak. And I'm going to figure things out as they go. And so, yeah, I think, well, yeah, until I, until I know things a little bit better, I probably won't necessarily go back to won't necessarily go back to to putting out a written schedule until I can say with more confidence what I'm doing. So maybe not this week, maybe next week, once I actually have my schedule, once I remember to ask my boss for my schedule <laughs> so that I can know what it is and know when I need to go into work and all that. But uh, yeah, for, for saying how I wasn't going to talk about the schedule, I sure talked about the schedule a lot and used the word schedule a lot too. Can you count how many times I use schedule in the in the past 15 minutes? I know I can't. But yeah, anyway, so we're going to wrap things up tonight. And let's see. Schedule. <laughs> but yeah, I guess uh, it's been a good long while since I, since I asked for any raid suggestions. So if anyone has any raid suggestions, I will gladly hear them out. And we may go and visit those fine folks, whoever they may be. But yeah, I will take a, a sip in the meantime, give you all a little bit of time to make any suggestions, if you have any. Sip. If you don't, of course, I can come up with a with a target of my own. Only one can think of is Svela Prozera. All right. Then Svela Prozera it is. <clears throat> ba, ba, ba. All right, and we'll give the uh, the ad some time to dissipate while I set up the raid here. Ba, ba, ba. Svela Prisera. Yeah, it's been a little bit since we since we uh, have raided Svela. I guess it's a. It's been a little bit since we raided basically everyone that we've raided because I try to spread out my raids as much as I can. So, usually we don't ra end up raiding the same person multiple weeks in a row, or even the same person multiple times in a month, really. But yeah, it looks like Svela is playing The Outer Worlds today. I played that game a little bit, it's pretty fun. I enjoyed uh, Fallout New Vegas a lot as well. So yeah, I can. Uh, I imagine I'd enjoy that game as well if I got more into it, spent more time on it. Might be something I end up playing one of these days on stream. But yeah, anyway. So, Svela Prisera. Svela, she's a uh, Valkyrie VTuber. I just uh, never got around to playing it. Fair enough, fair enough. Man, I definitely want to play... <laughs> this is off topic, but I also definitely want to play uh, Fallout New Vegas on stream. That will, that will happen one of these days. I can say that with great confidence. But anyway, the customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. You should? I will. I will. You can count on that. Honestly, I want to play all the Fallout games, uh, except for 76, which I do not <laughs> wish to play. But, you know. Anyway, so, raid message is, as always, we have arrived. Thank you all for being here tonight. I hope you've had a fine night. I hope that you have a fine night every night. I hope they will be well the next time I see you. Thank you all very much and farewell. Yeah, 70, 76 is not great. Yeah. Very well. 